Well, this morning we are seeing a beautiful sunrise across Carbondale. Mostly cloudy skies are present for everybody else. Temperatures this morning are generally trending into the lower 70s at this hour. We do still have a flood watch in place until, well, it has now been canceled with the exception of Madison County. But we did have a flood watch that included most of our counties that has been allowed to expire with the exception of Madison County. So that's good news there. As we continue throughout the morning hours, we likely are going to continue to see a few chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms. Scattered showers and storms are going to be likely as we approach the afternoon hours. And as we get into the day tomorrow, we are going to see a lot of dry and cooler weather, especially as our cold front moves through the region. Here's the current situation on the radar. Not a whole lot of activity happening across southern Illinois, but we have started to see some redevelopment of shower activity across the Poplar Bluff area near the Zama area and also just south of the city of Cape Girardeau. Turning our attention to western Kentucky, we are seeing a few isolated showers around the Fancy Farm area and also in into southern Graves County. Nothing that is severe or producing torrential rainfall like we saw yesterday. Nonetheless, by 6 or 7 o'clock this morning, we'll likely still be dealing with scattered shower activity. Scattered shower activity will linger through the 9 o'clock hour. We may see a few isolated showers bleed over into southern Illinois, but I do expect the majority of the heavy shower activity to stay into parts of southeastern Missouri and western Kentucky through the morning hours. We'll likely see a few scattered showers linger through the 12 o'clock hour, but by 2 p.m. Even in our southern counties, shower activity should become very isolated. But as we get into the afternoon hours, a cold front is going to approach from the north and that will generate a couple of isolated showers by 5 p.m. And then those showers should become more scattered as they work their way from north to south. Here's what the radar could look like by 7 p.m. We're not tracking the possibility for any of, the, any of these showers to turn strong to severe, but they will continue their track further towards the south. By midnight, I think a lot of us will be dry as that cold front will be out of our region. Tomorrow morning, we may see a few spotty showers in the boot heel of southeastern Missouri and into northwestern Tennessee, but that is our best shower chance for tomorrow. In terms of additional rainfall totals over the next couple of hours, we're likely only going to be seeing a few tenths of an inch of additional rainfall. Of course, we could see a locally heavier amounts. That's going to be highly dependent on where we see those heavier storms form. For Thursday, we're going to be dry other than just a few isolated showers possible in the Boot Hill of Missouri tomorrow morning. We'll be dry through Friday and Saturday. We do have a 20% chance of showers and storms for Sunday. 40% chance for Monday. The Storm Track 3 app will be very helpful today because it will let you know if we do get any more warnings with second round of rainfall. Overall, we'll likely see a temperature of about 76 by 9 a.m., 80 by 12 p.m., 81 by 3 p.m., and 83 by 6 p.m. We could see a heat index today of about 88, but I do think the bigger story today is the potential for those second rounds of showers. We'll likely see temperatures tomorrow only top out into the upper 70s and lower 80s with mostly sunny skies and that cooling trend will stick around for Friday with a high of 79 expected 82 for Saturday. So certainly going to be a little bit below normal as we wrap up the work week and transition into the weekend. 85 for today with a 60% chance of scattered showers and storms. 80 for Thursday, 79 for Friday, 82 for Saturday, 84 for Sunday, 84 for Monday and 83 for Tuesday.